Hello everyone and welcome back to Mother 3, episode 35. In this episode we're going to begin to storm po Porky's Tower. Not Pokey, that's who he's called in Earthbound. By mistake, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if the elevator's open. Perfect. Very nice. This is very relaxing music for a final dungeon. Hey now. You're sort of in the way. This elevator broke, so I rushed to fix it. For some reason, it wouldn't stop at the concert hall on the 24th floor anymore. But it works fine now. Wait a minute. You weren't thinking of going to the 100th floor, were you? Oh, of course I was. Then I apologize. Oh, he misinterpreted me. Okay. The repairs had just made a loud elevator to stop at the 24th floor concert hall only. So please, just take it to the 24th floor. Please. Really, I think that would be for the best. Alright, well, we'll start there. This is very eerie music for an elevator. What's he up to? What? Aren't you... Aren't you Lucky, the bass player for the DCMC? Sweet, Lucky's back. That incredible bass line is finally back. Let's go, Mr. Lucky, let's go. Hurry, hurry. Looks like DCMC's performing right now. Very nice. Let's see what they got in store for us. Oh, it's the pork trooper. Hmm. Something smells dog-like and kid-like. Oh, it's you guys. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do nothing though. Let's just enjoy the concert together as fellow DCMC fans. Okay, yeah, he's a good dude. He's pretty chill. He knows, he knows his limits. Lucky. Long time no see, you bum. Long time no see. We've been having some pretty okay concerts on our own since he left. But with you here, it's gonna be like, wow. Lucky, I missed you so much. How have you been? Lucky, it's good to see you again. All living things on these islands have been gathered here, New Park City. A great, undefiable power has prepared a festival for the end of all life. We can see through this porky guy's shallow brain plans like they're nothing. Why is that, you ask? Because we're so drunk on our music that he can't fool us with his nonsensical crap. I don't know who this porky guy is, but with all five DCMC members back together, nothing can scare us now. Well, if I think about it real hard, maybe I can think of something that could scare us. But no, nothing can scare us now. These guys are optimistic, aren't they? Hey, Loki. Let's forget our worries and just enjoy the music like the old days. Yeah, put on the, the wig. We even have your afro wig all ready to go. Alright, well, let's do it. An afro wig. Put it on? Yep. I mean, he's not lucky without the wig. Oh, there goes the crowd. I don't know where they are, but I hear them. Hey, there they are. Hey, Item Guy is even here. You know, I've never even used the Item Guy services, but... I mean, he's out there trying to help. It's a thought, thought, thought that counts, right? Even if it's not really too useful. Alright everyone, this may be the last time you'll ever get to hear us play, and this might also be the last time we ever get to perform. To all you wonderful music lovers who've gathered here on this special day, you're the greatest happiness of all, Tondagasa. We're gonna rock, we're gonna rock until you drop. No. We're gonna rock until everyone drops. We're gonna do this thing non-stop, let's do it.
I wonder where the trumpet sound's coming from. None of the DCMC players played the trumpet. But maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe the keyboard player has a trumpet setting on his keyboard. Tonda Gossip. Thanks, everyone. Let's move right on to the next song. No break. Me, Duster's got a solo. Very cool. Or lucky, I should say. are getting interrupted. Wonder what happened. Looks like someone stopped our concert by force. Attention, all goody two shoes inside the Empire Porky building. The final game has begun. Please gather up what puny wisdom and pathetic courage you have and come to the 100th floor. However, there's no guarantee the elevator will work however you want it to. Wahahaha. <laughs> Well, I'll be waiting for you on the 100th floor. Alright, well, looks like we got a mission. The concert got stopped, but we ain't glum. We got luck on our side. We've always had dumb luck on our side. Tondagasa. Do you think the concert might have not been stopped? Had we played Porky's Lullaby Song or something instead? Lucas, what is it? We leave Lucky in your hands. Oh wait, I mean Duster. I forgot, he's not Lucky. You're the only bassist the DCMC can ever have. Without you, we're without a base. I, I guess that's true. All right, well, let's go investigate. Looks like the power's out. Let's see what else this interesting building has in store for us, for lack of a better word. Porky chiming in again. Oh no, that's just that's just woman. Next stop, 104. Already. Well, we can revive ourselves here, but there's really no reason to. I think I'll save right now, real quick. Okay, let's go see what these guys have in store for us. Or not, they don't actually seem very hostile. We'll fight one. Oh, we have to actually press the button. Okay. Alright, we got a Hippo Launcher. Now this guy actually has a very low chance of dropping something called a Thud Charm, which is one of the best equipable items that you can use in this game. But since multiple characters can use it, that would just create way too big of a grind if I was to get it for each character. And also, we're already overleveled anyway, so I say we just skip on this one. It's not really that important. We'll just fight him. See how powerful this guy is. Not actually too powerful. Could just be our level, though. Probably should have looked up what his PSI weakness was. But he's gone now anyway. Just like that. Alright, we got a super bomb. Let's see, what else do we got? 
We got this guy. I want to do research so bad. I want to research more and more and more. If only I had research funding, I can improve the hippo launchers even more and more. Would you like to know how I'd improve them? Sure. I'd make it so hippo launchers could brush their teeth on their own, go to the bathroom at night before bed, fetch the newspaper. You know, those kinds of improvements. Alright, yeah, that sounds nice. Let's see what else we got. Looks like we can exit here. Oh, looks like this guy wants to talk to us. It appears that you guys appear to be suspicious guys. I, I, I'll beat you up good. Go, go, get on my hippo launcher. All right, looks like we got another one of these. This time I'll look at what its PSI weakness is. It's probably ice. Oh, lightning. Okay. I'm bad at guessing that stuff. But he's really not too much of a threat. There we go. Got him. Easy. Another hippo launcher down. Ah, a hippo launcher. Curse you. You'll pay for this. Stupid heads. Wow. Okay. Very aggressive there. Can't believe you'd use a word like stupid head. You got the ultimate shoes. I think these are for Duster. Let's see how good they are. Shoes with unrivaled comfort. Let's see. It, it makes offense go up, but HP, IQ. Yeah, whatever. Let's. I think that's a big upgrade. We don't really need those other stats. I don't even know what IQ does in this game. I feel bad giving away the... Wait. HP goes down by 15, but offense goes up a ton. I think we'll give them those. I feel bad getting rid of the mystical shoes because, I mean, they were kind of an event to get. There's a whole episode dedicated to that, but I think it's time to retire them. All right. Let's go. Oops, is there something over here? Okay, now we'll, we'll go this way. Probably get in here. I guess we do have to go the other way. Anything over here? Nope. I like the hippo launchers. They're pretty chill. Let's see what's in here. Got a grilled chicken. All right, we're already pretty stocked up on those, but it's always good to have more. A couple life needles. Okay. Useful stuff over here. Porky chiming in. We bring you a breaking news alert. Some idiots have been pretending. Some idiots have been seen pretending to see monkeys, or pretending to be sea monkeys in the middle of a pond. Wahaha! Wow. Talking about you guys. Getting all covered in mud so you can fight for your lives. It's all so ridiculous. Alright then, get on the next elevator. I think I'm gonna sit back and watch even more of your stupidity in action. Come on, don't give up. You're so close to the real 100th floor now. Ah! What does this next floor have in store for us? Give me... Alright, yeah, let's go. Next stop, 104. I have a bad feeling that this isn't the real 104. Let's see what this place has in store for us. There's a... Oh, well, there's one of those oxygen machines, but he appears to be part horse. Interesting. There's a ton of ladies in here. Don't really know what their purpose is. These are Master Porky's favorite double chocolate fried pork chips. Yeah, let's get out of here. I don't like this place. Your attention, please. We have a report of lost children. The detestable Lucas and his pals appear to be lost in Master Porky's fan room. <laughs> Attention Lucas and friends. Attention Lucas and friends. Come to the real 100th floor immediately, if you dare. Alright, well... We're gonna have to keep doing this till we eventually make it there.
What does this next floor have in store for us? I know I've said that a lot. I should probably vary my word choice a little bit more. Next stop, under the floor. And now that we have a revitalizing machine, let's just save this for the next episode. So we'll heal ourselves and then do a quick save. Fully revitalize. Okay, well, we'll see what's through this next door in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. See ya.